You take a picture of me all morning. Give me five bucks. No, Look at me. Five bucks. Ready? Today we're in LA. I brought my film camera and I brought some uh, Kodak Trax 400, which is this black and white contrasty film roll that is really good for portraits. And we're gonna visit different kind of neighborhoods in the city. I hope you guys enjoy this. So guys, can I take a portrait of you? I practice film photography. So you 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 Sorry? You say how much I'm you not, no, no. Thanks, man. One more, one more. No smiling. More, very serious. Thanks a lot, man. Are you ready, sir? I'm good. So guys, can I take a photo? We got to push break. Just two seconds. Today we're shooting with Kodak 3X and it has this contrasty look, a little bit dark. So instead of shooting it at 400, which is what the film is rated for, we're going to shoot an ISO of 800 and then I'll hopefully get a better exposure than my normally underexposed film photos. Excuse me? I practice photography. Can I photograph you? Sure. With that toothpick? Oh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And one more. Hey, look oh, at me. Ready? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. This is photography. May I take your portrait? Okay. Have a good day. So, man, can I take your portrait? I'm practicing film photography. Is it okay? So guys, I'm practicing mm -hmm. photography. Can I photograph you guys? Mm -hmm. Sure. Just like that, just like that. Yeah. yeah. One more. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. right, take a pose. You can take a picture of me all morning. Give me five bucks. Sorry? You can take a picture of me all morning. Give me five bucks. I only have a You got our money, bro. What's up, man? I'm from Star Trek. How are you? Sorry, man. Can I take your portrait? I practice film photography. And take a big drag. You ready? Thanks, man. Man, can I take a portrait of you? Can I take your photo? I can run over. <laughs> Why do you want a photo? I practice film photography. Oh, practice away then. Thank you. Don't put me on any uh, wanted news things. No, no, no. Can I ask you to take a drag right now? Thank you so much. Have a nice day. I'll send you a check. Oh, <laughs> oh one last one. Try lean back, try lean back. Uh -huh.
Excuse me? May I take your portrait? I practice photography. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I have an Instagram, I will send you the photos once I have it. But I can send you your pictures, I think it will be really good. I think your pictures are the best ones I have today. Really? Thank, Thank you so much. Right. I actually moved here to do this. And what are you doing? I really wanted to become an artist. And I was like, if I see back you back again, I'm going to ask him. Oh, for sure. And then you went back and I was like, I'm asking him. Yeah. Okay, so um, what's your name? Omar. Omar, and his Instagram is here. Uh, we want to be models. Yeah? Just model, so that public we actually figure, we want to be a public like, figure. We kind of want to bring modeling to like yeah. couples, because you don't see a lot of couples modeling out here. You and your boyfriend yeah. and girlfriend? Yes. Both yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So make sure to follow. <laughs> yeah. Well, my name is Fred. Omar. 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 Yeah. We'll message you and we'll try to get those pictures. Yeah. Film photography. Can I take a portrait of you too? Oh, Nino, yes. Yeah. Nino. Yeah, I'm sorry. Huh? I practice film photography. Can I take oh. a portrait of uh, these yeah, two? Yeah, you can take them. Mm, thank you so much. Yeah. So, like this, uh, just you two. And, and one more. Can you go down on her level? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. I'll shoot around six rows and then afterwards I'll go to a photo lab, get the photos developed and then I'll react to the photos for the first time with you guys. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. They do all sorts of acrobatics. vineyard and we're gonna taste a little bit of wine and we're gonna take some photos over here we have other vineyards. Yeah. I say can I take a portrait of you sure. let's go let's go here if you stand on the you stand on this side where should you be maybe you should be right here yeah and then you go a little further to me oh wow <laughs> like a photo shoot. Can I look at you? Yes, I wish you were a little shorter. 
but it'll be okay. Perfect, thank you. Wow, you got the last photo of the road. Hey, good luck. <laughs> Pleasure to meet okay, you. Okay, so right now we're at this place called Grand Seven. A person called Federico said that I should come and visit him at this bar on Instagram. So let's check it out. So that's it for my photo walk in LA. Now we're gonna go to a photo lab, we're gonna develop and we're gonna scan the photos and then we're gonna look through all of them together. It's midnight here in Mexico City and I just got the photos. I'm a little bit tired but I can't wait to look at them till tomorrow. I, I like this one. I shot the roll at ISO 800 and developed it at 800 as well. I mean it sure is contrasty. Okay that's, that's impossible to work with. My mom? <laughs> It's, it's cool. I think it's all right. Hmm. So if we just align this one a little bit, I like it. I think it's cool. All right. Hmm. Wow. This is such an odd one. I like it. It's cool. What do you guys think? Another one of the car? Hmm. Nope. Wow, it's so, so dark. I don't even know which photo this is. Or what I was thinking. I'm so confused. Not really. These photos are very underexposed. I'm gonna get some new tracks and try again. Oh, I'm so happy this one turned out well. I had such a good feeling about this portrait and I'm so happy it actually turned out well. Uh, this is cool too. But this one is my favorite. Okay. Not great. What the f... So guys, film experts. All you guys, I always see in the comments writing 300 words about what I should do differently. Now I actually need you guys. What do you guys think happened to this photo? Like. It's two photos mixed in one. <laughs> She's so, so, so cool, this woman. I hope I can recover this somehow in editing. I really, really like her look. And she was so, so cool and such a sport for letting me photograph her as well. So, so, so cool. Hmm, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'm not good at taking photos of cars, but every film photographer take pictures of cars and grass and a house. If there's these three things, there will be a film photographer with his portrait 400. <laughs> Woman talking to a Scientologist, dude. Oh, I might have exposed for this guy's t-shirt. It was such a rookie mistake. I took a couple of this guy. I hope the, the, the others are all right. Mm, I don't know. Here I surely exposed for his face, but <laughs> ah, this one is cool. I like this one. And that's the thing, and very few people, they photograph, like very few street photographers, they photograph people in cars, but it's so underrated because in a car, everyone has like their personal space. It's almost like coming into someone's home. So if you do street photography, remember to hunt for cars. Mm, kind of cool. We just adjusted a little bit. I like this one. It reminds me of like an old Hollywood movie. Nope. <laughs> nah. Um, I mean, it has this hazy look. Oh my God. It's pretty creepy. <laughs> mm, 
No, I looked forward to watching this portrait of the woman and her kid. They look so great, both of them. I hope the next photo is not is better exposed. Mm, nah, not really. <laughs> okay, this one is kind of nice. I like that you see like three people in, in a line, like foreground, mid and back in a way. Yeah, I like how this one turned out. I kind of like this one. I think this one is nice. It's funny, throughout this whole trip, I was so like cautious about like, 800 ISO, let's overexpose with one stop so we get better exposed photos. Also because this roll is very contrasty, but didn't happen. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> this one is cool. I'm happy he was exposed correctly and the next one should be good. Yeah, I like it. Missed focus. I haven't said the word missed focus yet. I think this is the first time I might have missed focus in others, but for sure my focus is a lot better for these roles. Oh, this one is cool. She's so sharp. Got juice. I like him. <laughs> this guy reminded me of ASAP Rocky. Oh, this is tight. I was a little bit concerned about the cars in the background, but I can live with it because, I don't know, it looks awesome. And I like that his smoke goes through one of his eyes. One of my favorites so far. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I like this one. What is she really doing here? She's eating something. I can't really see what she's doing, but it's kind of funny. Oof, here we have a car underexposed kind of cool i like the guy in the background as well but very very dark this is nice i suck at photographing like in like just cars or like i always have per people in my photos but i would like to experiment a little bit more with photographing objects and i really like how this one came out cool nope nope this is kind of nice. I am a little bit annoyed by the background because if there was like a, like it's a busy background and it kind of takes away from the subject, which is my brother's wife. But it could have been good. It could have been good. Wow, what an underexposed photo. Jesus. <laughs> this is kind of cool, kind of cool. Sharp. I mean, my focus is tight. I shot directly into the sun here just for fun. Damn. Uh, another one. Okay, this is another one that I wish was better exposed. I like the photo. I like the focus. I don't like the contrast. Oh, <laughs> that's the old dude. It's kind of cool. My brother flexing. Yeah. I know. I, I know for sure that I exposed for this guy's face. Uh, it's a shame. Not really. Not really. Kind of cool. Wow, what a cool moment. I don't like the photo that much, but uh, I like his movement. I know I keep talking about this, but I really don't. I think a messy background can ruin so many photos. If there was no background be him, behind him and no people, it would have been so much better. This one looked pretty when I was there, but it doesn't really work. I mean, there's not much to say about these photos. So many of them are so underexposed and useless. Jesus Christ, what happened here? This is this is not even I haven't touched any editing on this, but this looks so much crispier and better. 
yeah, doesn't it look like, uh, yeah, it looks so different from all the others. <laughs> uh, it's such a shame. I had a good feeling about this. I like this one, actually. It's not 100% sharp, but it's a cool one. Thank you for modeling, Asia. That was it for the Tri-X 400. And uh, yeah, I'm going to buy some more Tri-X and give this one another go because I think there's potential. Until next week.